Mahalia Jackson was born October 26, 1911, and died January 27, 1972. She was an American gospel singer widely considered one of the most influential vocalists of the 20th century. With a career spanning 40 years, Jackson was integral to the development and spread of gospel blues in black churches throughout the U.S. During a time when racial segregation was pervasive in American society, she met considerable and unexpected success in a recording career, selling an estimated 22 million records and performing in front of integrated and secular audiences in concert halls around the world. The granddaughter of slaves, Jackson was born and raised in poverty in New Orleans. She found a home in her church leading to a lifelong dedication and singular purpose to deliver God's word. Mahalia Jackson was born to Charity Clark and Johnny Jackson, a Steve Doran weekend barber. Clark and Jackson were unmarried, a common arrangement among black women in New Orleans at the time. He lived elsewhere, never joining Charity as a parent. Both sets of Mahalia's grandparents were born into slavery, her paternal grandparents on a rice plantation and her maternal grandparents on a cotton plantation. When Jackson was five, her mother became ill and died, and the cause was unknown. For 15 years, she functioned as what she termed a fish-and-bread singer, working odd jobs between performances to make a living. Nationwide recognition came for Jackson in 1947 with the release of Move On Up a Little Higher, selling two million copies and hitting the number two spot on Billboard charts, both first of, for gospel music. Jackson's recordings captured the attention of jazz fans in the U.S. and France, and she became the first gospel recording artist to tour Europe. She regularly appeared on television and radio and performed for many presidents and heads of state, including singing the national anthem at John F. Kennedy's inaugural ball in 1961. Motivated by her experiences living and touring in the South and integrating a Chicago neighborhood, she participated in the Civil Rights Movement, singing for fundraisers and at the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedoms in 1963. She was a vocal and loyal supporter of Martin Luther King, Jr., and a personal friend of his family. Throughout her career, Jackson faced intense pressure to record secular music, but turned down high-paying opportunities to concentrate on gospel. Completely self-taught, Jackson had a keen sense of instinct for music, her delivery marked by extensive improvisation with melody and rhythm. Jackson toured Europe again in 1964, mobbed in several cities and proclaiming, I thought I was the Beatles. She appeared in the film The Best Man and attended a ceremony acknowledging Lyndon Johnson's inauguration at the White House, becoming friends with Lady Bird. When at home, she attempted to remain approachable and maintained her characteristic sincerity. Later in life, Jackson's told, doctors told her that she had a heart attack. Um, when not on tour, she concentrated her efforts on building two philanthropies, the Mahalia, Mahalia Jackson Foundation, which eventually paid tuition for 50 college students, and the culmination of a dream she had for 10 years, a non-denominational temple for young people in Chicago to learn gospel music. As she organized two large benefit concerts for these causes, she was once more heartbroken upon learning of, of the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. She attended the funeral in Atlanta, where she gave one of her most memorable performances, Take My Hand, Precious Lord. With this, Jackson retired from political work and personal endorsements. Branching out into business, Jackson partnered with comedian Minnie Pearl in a chain of restaurants called Mahalia Jackson's Chicken Dinners and lent her name to a line of canned foods. She purchased a lavish condominium in Chicago overlooking Lake Michigan and set up room for Galloway, who she was considering remarrying. At 58 years old, she returned to New Orleans, finally allowed to stay as a guest in the upscale Royal Orleans Hotel, receiving red carpet treatment. She had an unexpected audience with Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, who declared, I will never hear a greater voice. I will never know a greater person. While touring Europe months later, Jackson became ill in Germany and flew home to Chicago, where she was hospitalized in January 1972. She received surgery to remove a bowel obstruction and died in recovery. Why should I feel discouraged? Why? Should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven 
and home. When Jesus is my portion, my constant friend is he. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I am free. Oh, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing. Because I am free, oh, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven and home? When Jesus is my portion, my constant friend is he. His eye is on the sparrow and I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I am free. Oh, his eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I am free. Oh, his eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches me.